Hello, my name is Michael Carter Jr. with Carter Farms, uh, Carter Brothers, and Africulture. Uh, Carter Farms is a century farm based in Central Virginia. Um, my great-great-grandparents developed uh, or bought the land in 1910, and I'm the fifth generation on that farm to be growing vegetables and fruits and raising cattle. Um, today I want to talk to you about Africulture and more particularly taro. Taro is one of the first plants I came across when I was in living in Ghana, West Africa. This is the main or traditional vegetable of Ghana, West Africa. Um, there's not a lot of other green leafy, leafy greens in West Africa, but taro is the main one. And in Ghana, they call it inkatumari. They also call it coco yam. So you have coco yam leaf or taro leaf or inkatumari. This is the main dish uh, that's cooked with a seed called a gushi. A gushi is a melon seed um, that's in the same family as pumpkins and squash, and, uh, but the seed is eaten with the inca turmeric, palm kernel oil or palm nut oil, uh, and sauteed very well, made into a nice paste with the agushi. Oh man, it's a d delicious, delicious, delicious green. <laughs> I can't speak about it enough. Uh, if you ever get an opportunity, I encourage you to try to grow taro. It's so easy. Uh, you stick it in the ground and walk away. You don't have to do much of anything else. Uh, it's uh, drought tolerant. It's uh, water law tolerant. Uh, all it needs is a little sun. It's even shade tolerant to a certain extent. Um, and it does overwinter. So in the most harsh winters in America, it'll keep coming back every spring uh, as this beautiful uh, green plant that can be an ornamental, but also is a great, great, great edible crop. One thing about taro and katumari is never eat it raw. If you eat it raw, you'll be scratching your inside of your throat for the next, you know, 20 to 30, 40 days. It's, it's you know, it has a very strong irritant, irritant to it. Even when you harvest it, a lot of individuals harvest it with gloves on because the white liquid gets on your hands. It will irritate your hands as well, depending on how sensitive your skin is. But taro uh, in katumari is an awesome plant, high nutritional value, great to eat, a great cultural plant. I know in Hawaii, they call it poi, at least the roots. Uh, I'm sure they eat the leaves with the poi as well. Um, it's one of those things that give these individuals their strength, both mentally and physically in those areas. Um, again, I, I encourage growing culturally diverse fruits and vegetables, really diversifying our palate. We generally only eat European vegetables. It's good to add some African, some tropical, some Asian vegetables into our diet, just to make our whole palate multicultural. So thank you for your time. Please support Utopian Seed Project, support Taro, and eat well.